Hello, Internet people. Did you just finish installing SSL certificate on your WordPress website? Everything went well until you noticed there is no green padlock. So before you jump into pit of doom, let me show you how to fix this. Oh, by the way, if you're fixing this for a website you build yourself, check out my other video in the description or in the info card appearing on your screen now. Tip sweat punch. All right, so the most common reason not to have the green padlock is mixed content. And it just means that you have links or images or some referenced code that doesn't use HTTPS. And I know it all sounds like gibberish. <laughs> From laps to the four wins. But it's good to know the basics. So first of all, we need to make sure that we're having a mixed content warning. It's quite easy to check that. Just right click anywhere on your site and choose inspect. And then here on the right hand side, you see we have some code, but if you click on the console, this works on Chrome and Firefox, they're very similar. So in the console, you'll see that we have mixed content warnings. And this is super useful to find where you need to change some URLs to see that green padlock. I have my WordPress admin page open here. And first step is to go to settings. So if you scroll down and choose settings in general, on this page, you're able to change the HTTP to HTTPS. So it's easy. Just add the S and then scroll down to save the changes. At this point, you can check if your website has the green padlock now. If it doesn't, just keep watching. Okay, I'll make it quick because my horse is getting tired. Another easy fix is to check all your articles that they don't have URLs that contain HTTP. So in this case, I have an image that has HTTP. This might cause the browser to think that it's not secure. So you don't get the green padlock. You can try another way. And what we need is to go to our cPanel and then navigate to file manager. So here you're in the root folder of this domain and you have to find the .ht access file. Now, if you don't see this, please take a look in the description. I have a video where how to enable it because it's not enabled by default on GoDaddy. So right click on the HT access file and choose code edit. And uh, yeah, edit. And once it opens up, you'll see some code here. Now you just go at the bottom and paste in this snippet of code. I'll add it to the description so you can just copy paste it. And once that's done, just save the file. And now you should see HTTPS even if you enter HTTP. The code snippet we entered is going to always redirect the user to the HTTPS site. I need a vacation. Okay, at this point, most of your sites should have the green padlock. But if you're still struggling with that, for example, in my case, I had a page where a plugin is causing the issue. So if I inspect the page by right clicking anywhere and go to the console, you can see that there's this plugin Yumly, which is still referenced with HTTP. All the changes we just did before didn't help the situation. So in your WordPress admin, you scroll down to plugins, then you find the plugin that is in question. In this case, Yumly. I'm going to click on edit and you'll see a bunch of code here. So what you want to do here is search for HTTP and change all of those to HTTPS. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Once you've changed everything, just save the changes. And once the, once the changes are updated, if I refresh the page, you'll see that now there's HTTPS. And since your website is secure now, you can keep feeding the blogs. What you been feeding this thing? 
plants. I hope this video was helpful and if it was useful hit the like button and here's a couple videos that you might like.